morning friends. Today I'm about two miles from North Carolina. I'm up here on top of the mountain here on the Tennessee side. I'm headed down to Georgia this weekend for a sawmill event at my buddy Jake's location. And I just stopped at this pretty neat little overlook here to take a look at the mountain. A little chilly up here. It's about 40 degrees up here on top of the mountain. Let's get back in the truck and head down to Georgia. You guys think I was gonna leave you here? Let's go. So I've drove through North Carolina, South Carolina. Now I'm in Georgia. And it looks like we're about three miles from Jake's Sawmill. And if you've never seen Jake's Sawmill before in his setup, you're in for a treat. He's got a nice place down here. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Over here we got Robert Milton of Hobby Hardwoods. Hey folks. So if you're not subscribed to Robert's channel, there's a link down below, go check it out. He does more sawmilling than I do. So uh, It's not as pretty though. That's true, that's true. <laughs> and I'm not as pretty, so you know. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Right, guys a brief tour here of Jake Dean's operation and I've not been here in two years and it's grown a lot since then got an LT70 right here this is his primary saw that he saws most of his lumber on 
I believe this is a 2006 model. If I'm not right, I'll let you guys know down in the comments. I'm pretty sure that's the year that he got this one. I'm not even sure how many hours is on it. that's coming through on the camera, 2,872 hours. This one has the AccuSet 2 on it. And I'm pretty sure that's a Cat Diesel on top of it. Got a John Deere skid loader right here beside us. I think this is also uh, something he got recently as well. I don't remember this being here last time either. Over there he's got a Baker Edger. Got a very large uh, dust collection system right there. It runs the sawmill and those woodworking machines over there. Let's go take a look at them. One thing I'm really envious about here at Jake's place is all the room. He's got this nice metal building right here with all the equipment under it, plenty of room to stack lumber. Really nice operation. A lot of room out there. And that dust collector I was just talking about up there goes all the way over there to his sawdust pile, about 30 yards away. Right here, we have a Cantec. This is a carpet planer. It does both sides. Matt's capacity, I think, is 30 inches on the width. It's a really nice machine right there. I'd love to have one of those. So we've got, a, I think this is a Panito, a Panero. Yeah, I can't even say it right. Look over my words there, friends, a Panero. This is a four-sided molder. He makes a lot of shiplap and flooring on this machine. That's a really nice unit right there. Over here, I think that's a uh, Baker Resaw. I don't remember that being here either. I don't know if that's new or not. And over here is a very nice machine. I would love to have this one. It's a SCMI 20 inch jointer. Look at that. It's also got the spiral head on it. Very, very nice machine right there. You don't see a lot of 20 inch wide joiners around. Back here, more stats of lumber. All around pretty much. So I'm panning around the sides here. And over here behind me, he's got his table saw. That's a saw stop right there. This was here last time, if I remember. Got a fork truck right there. And uh, something else that's brand new, check this out. So this right here is the wood miser slab miser. So you put your slab on top of it. It's got the motor right there with the cutter head and that's how you flatten your slabs. And he also got an extension on this one. So it's pretty long right there. I'm thinking, gosh, maybe 16 feet or something, maybe 20 feet. Do some big slabs on that table. I need one of those also. I'm making the list here of stuff I need. So here's Jake's other sawmill. This is another LT70. And this one's pretty unique. He's got 56 feet of track in front of this sawmill. So he can cut, you know, a 56 foot beam on it. It's pretty impressive right there. You don't see stuff like that all the time. And I was asking him about the hour meter. This sawmill right here has 14,000 hours on it. Pretty impressive. Over here in front of my truck is another drying shed. Got a lot of stuff in there, air drying before it goes into his kiln. So right here is the Lucas Mill Slabber. This is something new also. Look at the size of the chainsaw bar on that thing. I'm not sure what size that is. This right here is Jake's sharpening building. Got his chainsaws in here, all his saw blades. And over there is all his sharpening equipment right there, right there in the back. He uses the same saw blades that I use actually. Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7s. Can't beat them.
finally back in the room here and it's about 10 o'clock and I got three videos to edit here for you guys and I probably won't get these done tonight. But tomorrow's Friday and Jake's doing a two day demonstration at his business. So Friday and Saturday both, I'll be over there doing some video work, showing him doing some saw milling and running those other machines that you guys just saw in the video. And I'm not sure if I'll do two videos or just one video both days. It just depends on how much footage we get. I'm also going to try to find the time to sit down with Jake and Robert both and do some interviews with those guys and kind of pit their brain just a little on some questions I have. So thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys back here, hopefully tomorrow, if I get this video done, watch Jake salt some logs on that LT70.